This is my Honda Odyssey minivan camper van. I love camping in my minivan. I used to be one of those people who only tent camped and was like such a minimalist. If anyone talked about bringing a little grill or even GPS, I was like, you're not coming with me. <laughs> and then I got Gertie and I started traveling around the country and I totally fell in love with having a bed and a bathroom. But that became a little much, and so I sold that and I got this Honda Odyssey. And let me tell you, going from a 10 foot tall Ford E350 to a minivan was so incredible. I could not be happier with where I'm at right now, with the stuff that I have, my little van tree. This is what I like to call my van tree. I keep some backpacking food, some protein, Definitely some hydration mixes because it's so easy to get dehydrated in a van and camping in general. And I love having this good to go food. Even if I keep a cooler, it's so nice to have food that you don't need to keep cold and won't go bad. I also like to keep a water filter on hand just in case I need to filter some water out of a stream or a lake or something. Keeping water is kind of a pain sometimes. I usually have a couple stove options. You can see my fuel for my little backpacking stove is in there. I live in a really high fire danger area, so those little stoves are often the only thing that we're allowed to use. Speaking of my backpacking setup, this is my little pot. It's a solo stove pot. It has a really tight fitting lid, as you can see, which is really handy. I love how those handles come out. And then this is my tiny backpacking stove that I got, I think for around $20 on Amazon. I'll have it linked below. It's super tiny. It works really well. It's actually pretty stable, even though it is so small. And obviously it fits in the pot, which is really nice. I also do keep a knife with me for vegetables, uh, you know, whatever you're cooking up. I've never had to defend myself or anything like that with it, though I would be glad that I had it in case that came up. This is my bigger stove. If I'm at a rest stop or, you know, a truck stop or something, this I will put on the picnic table and use. It's more conventional looking, right? It's a little less scary than those tiny backpacking stoves. And it uses these butane cans, which you can order online. Uh, which is really nice. I do not live in this full time, but I do take this camping and traveling whenever I can because I just love the feeling of being in it. It does feel cozy. I love the rug. I love the quilts. This is the bed. It's a Coleman cot that I use and it's perfectly sized for me. I'm 5'2" and I have plenty of room widthwise and lengthwise. If it's the summertime, I'll just put uh, some sheets on there and a quilt, just a regular pillow. And I have a four inch latex foam mattress that just sits right on top of the cot and I put a sheet over it. It is so comfortable. It rivals my real bed. It is amazing how much of a marshmallow it is. And it's still pretty firm because it has that cot underneath it. So I don't know how I did it, but it's like the perfect comfort for me. I love sleeping on it. I actually did make that quilt. The pattern is from another YouTuber, Tiny Orchard Quilts, and I will link that below. This is what I put on the floor. It's just a grass woven mat and a wool carpet pad because there are some, like that hardware, it's underneath and I really didn't want to kneel on it or just hurt myself, so I did cover up the floor as best I could, and it's worked really well. I love that I have absolutely enough privacy. I have this roll here that I put down if I don't feel like putting in all of my sun shades. Those are my window coverings. I ordered them online. You can put in what vehicle you have, and they'll custom make them for you. And as you can see, there are some gaps that these don't fit. So I just hung up some extra fleece with safety pins, super easy. It is just a piece of fleece that I bought at Joanne Fabrics. I safety pinned it to the top 
right behind the seat rests. And this provides an excellent amount of privacy between the front of the vehicle and the back of the vehicle. So like for in the daytime, when it would look shady, if I put up all of my, you know, front window coverings, so if I'm trying to be stealthy or if I just need to use the bathroom, I'll just put this down. And because it's black, it's really hard to see. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's anything there. So if I'm trying to hide that I'm living in it or traveling in it, so I don't want anyone to break in, I have just loved this solution and it's so stinking easy. And then I just tuck it behind the pillow and into the little pocket there. It provides great protection from seeing my things, seeing me. And then I just hung up a little bit of extra over those tiny little sliver of a window. And if I have to use the bathroom, which I know everyone asks about, I have my little uh, porta potty type thing, which I feel is the easiest way to go. Here is my bathroom solution. It is a luggable loo. It's basically a five gallon bucket with a toilet seat on it, which is actually pretty nice. It's a little dusty at the moment because I haven't used it in a while. Just put a double duty bag in there and um, a little bit of sawdust. I do whatever I need to do. I add a little bit more sawdust and I'll, I can use it for a whole day. And when I'm done, I just close up the bag. Uh, it double seals, there's two bags in that thing. And then I just throw it away wherever I can. It's so much easier to do some stealth camping in something like this rather than in an RV, even though mine was smaller and could fit in one parking spot. It's just incredible. I have a solar panel on the roof that no one ever gets to see unless you're seven feet tall. Pearl is finally getting her solar panel attached today and I just uh, figured out these wires and plugged it in and it's charging and it's so exciting. I turned it off, but it's full, but it's so exciting. I've had this whole setup for so long and I just haven't, I haven't needed it, but now I'm going to be away for two months and it's going to be freaking rad. It's so fun when you do something you kind of think you can't do. It seems easy now that it's all laid out, but it was a challenge. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Do things you don't think you can do, and then you will feel very excited. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so easy to heat up in the winter when you wake up and it's freezing cold outside. You just turn the engine on. You get the heat going. There's separate climate controls for back here. Um, same thing in you know, if it's really hot, you just put the AC on or take a walk or come to the top of a mountain like I'm at right now where there's actually a breeze and down in the valley where I live is like 100 degrees. I love that you can have this pretty of a view essentially from bed. <laughs> it's like the best of both worlds. I would not be able to live without my sleep mask. It makes such a big difference on the road, especially at truck stops where there's always light streaming in. These fans are also a godsend. I've got a couple of them and some of them even clip. They're just from Amazon. And if you don't need a full on air conditioner, these are a really great option. Underneath the bed is where I keep everything else. I've got clothes and towels in pillowcase. I've got my dry bag, my trekking poles. In the back here, I have a life jacket because you never know when you're going to be on a boat or going swimming. And yeah, I love floating around in lakes with a life jacket on. And then I have a wetsuit because again, always be prepared. <laughs> And then I have a TV tray under here because that is my desk and when I want to prepare food. I just set up the TV tray right in front of the bed, sitting on the bed, and it's excellent. And of course, I have a fire extinguisher because, again, just be prepared, be safe. I also have a CO2 detector and a smoke detector up front. Sunscreen is always really good to have, too. You never know when you're just going to be out in the elements. I live in Utah, so it gets really, really sunny and hot here. And then again, a fan. Never have too many fans. You can see, I love, I love this minivan. I love minivan camping. I love minivan living. I love minivan traveling. It is absolutely amazing. 
If you're thinking about it, definitely do it. And I did absolutely no building, no permanent changes to this minivan. All I did was I took out the seats that were here. I had a mechanic take out that back folding down seat. So I had a little bit more room underneath there where my toilet is and I can fit my um, inflatable kayak down there so that it's just super easy to store. And if I wanted to sell this van like a real van, I totally could. Or you could take the seats out and sell them. I actually sold one of the seats. So, you know, help fund your fun adventures. That's about it for this video. I, like I said, couldn't recommend this more. It's amazing. It's also maybe the biggest thing, the reason why I actually bought this, like the number one reason, reliability and then gas mileage. There's so many reasons to go with a minivan over a small RV. Maybe I'll make a new video on that. Highly recommend, get yourself a minivan, go camping, and you're just gonna have so much fun. Okay guys, super love, bye for now.